the swift coming apart of our national economic system to make way for evolution's inexorably developing integration of a world socioeconomic system is manifest in the full-page advertisement in the Sunday New York Times, August 9th, 1981. By one of the most conservative of the New York Savings Banks, 18% interest starting now, up to $2,000 tax-free interest starting October. For this same interest rate, Dime Savings Bank required an investment of $5,000. Twenty similarly unprecedented savings bank ads appeared in the same financial section. Before 1980, U.S. savings banks had paid in the range of 4% interest. The following week, that of August 16th, the same plethora of bank advertisements appeared with the percentage increased to 25%. By the week of August 23rd, the advertisements had advanced their offer to 40% interest. This was, of course, the correctly calculated percentage of gain, but misleadingly employed. The percentage represented yield to maturity in respect to the low August purchasing price of U.S. Treasury notes maturing on October 1st, 1981, whose depressed market value indicated not only the imminence of USA bankruptcy, but the expectation that this particular set of USA refunding notes at ever higher interest rates and on ever shorter maturity terms would in all probability be redeemed before common recognition of the outright bankruptcy. The advertising was deliberate and mischievously misleading in that it implied a continuing 40% interest rate if you deposited several thousand dollars, whereas the interest advertised was to accrue only until October 1st, 1981. The advertisements failed to clearly communicate that the interest rate after October 1st would be a customary savings account rate. The advertisements were hoaxes to acquire savings deposits, which the bank could loan out at much higher rates of interest. At this point in our review of how economic and other social conditions have evolved to such a threateningly devastating future outlook for many, if not all, humans, we wish to recall that inexorable cosmic evolution is intent on integrating all humanity in one global government and therefore on eliminating all of the planet Earth's nations and on doing so in a hurry. The most difficult of all the world's sovereignties to eliminate is clearly that of the USA. We recall having forecast this termination of the USA at least 15 years ago. The 150 nations are 150 clots in the economic bloodstream of our planet. The headlong rush into the atomic holocaust is in fact a far more threatening development than the natural economic demise of the USA, which in fact may be viewed as simply a self-removing planetary economics blood clot event.